two flute versus four flute and why you should actually use three flute in aluminum. I'm actually really excited because I learned a lot and you'll have to forgive me, I am gonna read a little bit from my notes on this video. Again, a lot of this is from Carl. Two flute was originally the go-to end mill for aluminum simply because the chip evacuation that you, you had. The downside was a two flute is less rigid than a four flute because as you cut those flutes away, to create that room for evacuation, you sacrifice rigidity or core strength or material in the tool itself. Carl's pitch on the Lakeshore Carbide three flute variable flute, we'll come back to variable, it gives the same chip evacuation as a two flute, has optimized cutting geometries ground into it, polished gullets, and a ZRN coating. You also gain rigidity because of the thicker core. And I wanna focus on chip evacuation because again, for most of us at this level, chip evacuation is so important, and that goes back to cooling. And cooling plays, we talked about this in the video we did on uh, CNC cooling basics, but cooling does three things. It lubricates, it cools, and it clears the chips. And for us, clearing the chips out of there is the most important, so that you're not recutting chips. Four flute is better for steel, not surprisingly, because it has the rigid uh, rigidity from the thicker core. You also, by having four flutes, have a shallower gullet, which means the actual tooth itself has more rigidity and strength to cut through and shear off as you're cutting through the steel. So what is variable flute? I will admit, I thought variable flute meant that the angle sort of changed. I, I was wrong. Variable flute is indexing the flutes at each other other than 180 degrees or equally separated. In other words, for a three flute, not having them 120 degrees apart. Flutes cutting directly across, across from each other create a natural frequency or harmonic that results in vibration or chatter. Similar to like a tuning fork or I guess an opera singer shattering a uh, glass window with her voice, which I kind of always thought was an urban myth, but apparently not. So producing the flutes or grinding them in variable locations or slightly offset simply disrupts that phenomena. Pretty cool, huh? The other thing, which is what I was thinking of, is variable helix, and that's where the actual helix, which the, the easiest way I think of it is like when you see a picture of a DNA strand. It's the curve of the tool as it's going up. It can be ground at varying degrees over its length, and you can combine that with the variable flutes, and it's apparently a very good recipe. We just switch our tool 31, which if you follow our channel is our go-to two flute quarter inch end mill for aluminum for years, we just switched to the Lakeshore Carbide three flute. I love it. We'll talk about it in another video, but you gain so much speed because you can run it faster with the same chip load per tooth. Again, going back to the first video, you're cutting the same amount off, but you increase the feed so you get better results, better service finish. It's, a, it's been great. Higher flutes like five and six and seven flutes, generally for finish, uh, finish cuts or exotic materials, more complex than we're gonna get into in this video, but as a general rule, you're not hogging out or creating a big chip, and so you don't have the evacuation problem. Although, there's two things to note from that. One is that there've been a lot of talks lately about increasing to an odd number of flutes. In other words, like I just said, going from a two flute to a three flute, or in steel, go from a four flute to a five flute. I think you get some intrinsic benefit from the odd number, but also if you're happy with your finish in a four flute, increasing it to a five flute means you can keep all your parameters the same, but go 25% faster in your feed rate or inches per minute, which means you can remove more material more quickly, and at the end of the day, that is the goal. If you're interested in five flutes, there's a link below in this video to some of the five flutes that Lakeshore Carbide sells. We've been using them in steel, um, everything from 12L14 to 1018 to 4140, and they have been spectacular. Again, we'll have specific feeds and speeds in a later video.